day, everybody, and welcome to Colapt. I saw this game played uh, a while back, and it made me really interested because it's really cool. And it's like a Russian kind of supernatural-ish game is what I know, so let's play. Seemed really cool. Please recollect that note will be marked on the map. Okay, so no collecting. All right, Slender Man. Gonna get my butt when I get his pages. Fifty-six years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains, a group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Ototan Mountain. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. It was their last stop. Dun, dun, dun. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. Damn. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Yeah. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered deep under the snow. Okay then. Oh, axe. Well, this is a rather pretty game. And very fucking bright, Jesus. Ooh, I'm liking the music so far, too. Can I run? I can run. Okay, can't do much. Can I jump? Nope. Ooh. Are those my footprints? Okay, yeah. I was getting confused. Hello? Hello? Nope. God, that is bright. Right? Well, I already have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. So who are we? Or you just some guy going into where they were to kind of find out the truth or something? Like, what's going, what's going on here? There's a house over here. Did I 
can't get into. Okay. Guess this is the right way. Civilization? Maybe? Am I missing stuff? Like, should I be... I hope I'm not missing, like, stuff to pick up and shit. No introduction to this guy, either. That's, uh... Kinda sucky, I guess. I hear whispers. Well, that's creepy looking. I guess I'll go towards the creepy woods. You coming to me? Hello? Oh! What? Barefoot glowing tracks. That's creepy. They're gone. Is it going this way? I think I was going this way. Why is the sides of my screen getting dark? Why are... Well, this is an interesting cave. I didn't even realize the green. You glowing? Can I touch you? No? Okay. Jesus! Hello? What happened? In the end, the only thing I saw was a flash. An insufferable burning light. The pain ripping apart my body. I felt it tearing out of my soul. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. The light went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. I welcomed the end with delight. Okay, I mean, you're kind of a nobody right now. I have no idea who you are or what you're even doing here. I hear twinkling. Oh, I went away from the twinkling. Hello? Twinkling? Am I going the right way or the wrong way? Okay, let's let's not go towards the twinkling anymore. Where am I supposed to be going here, seriously? I'm just as lost as I was before. Okay. Hello? Oh! Found you. Found something. The tent! Is that where the twinkling was coming from? Hi, tent. Press E. I pressed E. Okay, Creeper. I don't know what's going on. Okay. That was a quick and interesting act. Lots of action. And so far, the game's interesting. Really fucking quick act, okay. Have you ever tried to hold on to your humanity? When others convince you of being no more than a subject, an object, which they can bend to their will. When they told you that you were a monster that deserved punishment. When you could really not remember your sins. When they took away your loved ones. Leaving you to rot in the dark. The problem is, that in their darkness, you have never been alone. 
Okay. Where, where are the creepy glowing feet coming from? Okay, I guess I'm following. Press F for survival information. Oh, F1. Uh, running, okay. Oh, so that's survival. I have no articles, no reports, no diary, and no logbook. Okay. Seems legit. I guess I'll follow where the feet were going? Ooh, what's this? 50... Th er, 53. 35 north, 50 east. Do I have a map? Oh, I do. 35 north, 50 east. Uh, where am I right now? Oh, wait, is that where I'm at? 35 north, 50 east. Seriously, where am I? Hello? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, no, I guess that is where I'm at. So, if I'm here... If I'm here... What's closest to me? 37 north, 62 east? 62, 37, 62. Okay, so it's right here. So I should just have to go down here, I guess? Can I mark this somehow? Hey. Oh, what is that? Can I use you? What are you? I don't know. All right, let's um. I'm assuming if I go this way, that this is I'm I've, I'm pretty sure this is the. <laughs> should probably not run too much. I'm pretty sure this is the um. I hear paper in the wind. Ooh, hello. Well, you're not really paper in the... Oh, no, you are. Okay. I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. I arrived at Vishai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometer and a half away. But the trail went cold after 500 meters and we had to carefully search the entire area. This was not a place of any average incident. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. I was convinced that something more than just an accident had occurred here. I had the feeling we were dealing with something unnatural. Well, okay then. Oh! I don't want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. Okay, that's an interesting start. Oh, wait, chill. Things are running. Get back here. Get back here, you bastard. Do I need to follow you? Do, do I need to follow this? Where's the map? Oh god, I can't. Okay, so it went that way. And so that... Oh, shit. Okay, so that was that. So... 
Oh, crap. Which is north? Uh, I guess... Is the red north? The red's gotta be north. Okay, so... So let's see, uh, 66, 72? No. Or yeah, no. Jeez. Alright, I need to find... Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll just keep going down where this thing was going. That sounds like a good idea. That was the interesting beginning. So, I guess that was the logbook from the guy leading the expedition. So, it's, once again, who am I, though, in all of this crap? Why am I here? Hello? Breathing? Was that me? I wonder if I'll get a landmark. Okay, so there's like a little split here. This way. Maybe? I would love some. Oh. Hi. You are remarkable. Just like me. Thank you. Yeah, I never had it. You're slipping slowly into the abyss, and there is no one to give you a hand. And at the bottom, I am the only one waiting for you. Okay, but you just said I was remarkable like you, so that's nice, right? Right? There's a cave here. I wonder if this cave has... Some map on it? Some kind of special um, markings that'll tell me, hey, you're at this area, please? I don't know what these are. Oh! Did I see that before? Is that a volcano? What the fuck is that? It's really weird. I don't know if I like that. Can I get to it though? Can I touch it with a stick? Guess I'll go down this way? Where the fuck am I going? Seriously. Oh, what's that up there? Oh, that must be another page. Oh, shit. Fuck, I think I came down too much though. Damn. Ah, crap. Is there a way to get up there? Oh, maybe there is. Hear that flutter. Oh. Maybe. <clears throat> yes, there was. Sweet. Uh -huh. We are sitting in room number 23. Although sitting might not be the right word because we are running around trying to finish up packing anything else we could need. 
food cans, tools, essentially whatever we get our hands on. We want to be sure that we took everything we could possibly need. We're running out of time. Damn it, where did I put my belt? I'm sure we forgot about something. We're almost ready. We lost the knife. We're counting the money. We're leaving the room in a complete mess. So, we made it to the train station. Okay. We're singing all the songs we know and making up new ones as well. Everyone is so excited. Finally, at around 3 a.m., we go to bed. I wonder, what is awaiting us when we get there? What will we see? How far will we make it? I hear the rest of the group breathing peacefully, and it's snowing outside. The, what? Group breathing peacefully? Where is this taking me to now? This is like some weird-ass tiny broken bridge. Hello? Oh! That's a skull. That's a giant skull. Okay. Either that's real, or that's a weird rock formation. 